Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Here we have the iPad sketch for the cover design of Jesus, Issue Number 2, uh, which features... Jesus messing with the speed of light, dealing with another Jesus who's um, trapped inside of Speedy Mick Groundhog, which is the video game that he's reviewing on Atari X 5201. So all of this has to be captured in the cover design, uh, which should be pretty colorful and lively. So let's open it up over here in Photoshop and get to work. I'm going to start with some uh, with, another, with another layer of inks, I'm going to block out the title. I'm going to use the type font that I used for Jesus issue number one. And uh, then after the, after the inks are done, I'm going to lay down the colors. All right, here we are inside Photoshop now. I'm going to create a new layer for the inks. I don't think I need to use multiple ink layers for this, but uh, if I do, I'll, well, I'll, I'll do that. Start with a 30 point. And work on his eyes. For this particular drawing, I'm going to have his tongue hanging way out of his mouth like that. Since Speedy McGroundhog runs faster than the speed of light, I thought it would be funny for this cover to show that there are multiple Jesuses. Sort of. <laughs> You'll see. Right. And this is the actual Jesus who's over here freaking out by the alternate Jesus trying to grab him in the face. So that would be kind of weird if a green version of you <laughs> traveling faster than the speed of light tried to grab you in the face. That, that might be a strange afternoon. But that's a fairly normal afternoon for Jesus who's high on space coke. Which is a magical ore that keeps him alive and has an incredible list of side effects. As you learned in Jesus issue number one. The release date for Jesus number two is June 8. And uh, it's actually the same day as another book I'm releasing called Surf Panda, which is being built on the same template. Uh, but that's actually my first like all ages book. For those of you with kids who won't let them read Jesus for any number of good reasons not to let children read Jesus, he's quite the role model. So actually I just erased his body um, and his arm, because I really didn't have a good place to put his arm. I'm actually going to make his arm go up here, or Jesus' arm, uh, and ha make it so that he's leaning in more. There's going to be action lines in the background, uh, but his stomach was over here, but instead I'm going to pull it back over here like he's leaning in a bit further like uh, like that so it's like he's coming in off the frame okay. there we go this one was a bit tricky I wasn't sure where to put all of their appendages uh, so I ended up actually making this Jesus choke that Jesus he's kicking him and he's kicking him and um, I think the colors will smooth it all out so let, let's uh, let's take a look at it from the I'm gonna finish a couple more inks here in the shoe and then uh, Start dropping in some of the rough colors so I can get a sense of how this looks. Uh, cover designs are pretty are pretty neat in that they need to look good from afar. Like if it's a really small icon, like if, you know, these are sold through Amazon, so they're pretty small. You want them to be bold and high contrast. And immediately eye-catching and two drunk chickens facing off against each other is, I think, pretty eye-catching. So uh, We'll see. Alright, so I have um, these guys on their own layer now. And I'm going to start filling in the color. That's the color for Speedy McGroundhog, who is green. And now, now I can start to see through some of the lines a bit more and refine these colors. Or refine the design, I should say. There's his leg. And for Jesus, we're going to go over here to the red. We need red, 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 red. Red. Here's the first draft of the colors. Uh, worked out a few things. Colored the Atari X5201. I'm going to put a logo on it and stuff at the end. But 
I tried to put wood grain in here, but it, it just was, it was too distracting with the design. So I added rivets because everything is better with rivets. If you can't have wood grain, you should at least have rivets. Here's what this one looked like. That's the actual cover template with the front and the back. You can see that the number and the special edition are off to the right here, which matches that design. Now I go over to this design. That's one of the earlier versions. That's the sketch. Where is it? There it is. Go over to this design, and his head starts getting in the way. In fact, I'll probably end up bringing the um, bring this down a bit, even. This is, it's good, it's good with a white background, but I have a lot of books coming out this year and I'm using a white background in, in a lot of the covers, like uh, Lord Carnage 1.5 1, 1. and uh, How to Make a Video Game Review Book. I thought this would be fun to put a darker color background in there. Now, I, I like the purple. Purple and bright green, like just really scream what this book is all about. And even though the book itself is in black and white, the color obviously has to uh, sell it to people who have no idea what this is and look at it and they're like, what? No, that looks insane. What the hell is this book? Definitely going to buy six copies of it. Here's the, uh, here's the rough draft of it. Probably the version that you'll see up on Amazon for the pre-order at least. I'm going to do a few more details down here. But otherwise, I, I like I like this. I think it's just it's bold, it's obnoxious, it's it's ridiculous, and that's exactly what the book is. So, Jesus number two will be uh, released on June eighth, two thousand seventeen. In fact, uh, should be up for pre order at least like the Kindle version really soon, same day as this guy, Surf Panda, featuring Wind Squid, uh, which is uh, more of a family friendly offering. Uh, this one's actually going to be full color. It'll be my first full color comic book. Uh, be a lot of fun. Features a um, bunch of undersea uh, space creatures who aren't getting along with surf pandas. So they, they need to work together to discover the power of friendship. It'll be incredibly sarcastic, but not as filled with drugs and alcohol and firearms as the rest of my work. So here, here we have uh, Jesus 2. And then also I did uh, well, Jesus 1. This one is up there already. This is the uh, Lord Carnage. This is the full cover. There's actually going to be more over here. I'm going to put Wind Squid and uh, a couple other creatures. Space Gar are going in over here. So this, the, the covers are, I, I draw them as giant um, like two page covers and they fold over. Uh, but this is Lord Carnage 1.5, which is coming out in May. And I, I just I love this one. <laughs> this turned out pretty much exactly as I as I envisioned it. So, all right, that is all for now. See you guys soon on Drawing with Lord Carnage. Follow me on Amazon. Putting out a lot of stuff this year. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book One, and. Jesus, the coked up chicken number one, special edition, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club, being shouted from within. A Turbo, Turbo volcano. volcano! Starting with Andy and Abby Schleiss. <laughs> Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Benjamin Woodring. Benjamin Woodring. Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. 
Sean Zoltek. Sharon Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Philip DeBarros. Jack Stavros. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>